Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm at Le Pinken and today I'm not in the office, in the studio, but I'm on a cruise on the Danube in Budapest. And the reason for this is the IBC conference, the Sigma conference, which is right now in Budapest, starting officially tomorrow and after tomorrow. So basically on the 3rd and 4th of September. But now we have the zero day and this is the you know, networking day. Um, I will be a speaker on the conference tomorrow on the 3rd uh, in the afternoon, uh, 3 p.m. So if you're there, you know, you can meet me over there. And uh, now I don't have this typical uh, daily video. However, I brought you some news uh, just to cover. So first of all, we finished August. That means uh, we had a red August, but this is what we expected to be in a street view. Historically, August is this how it is. And uh, September after that, it's uh, usually also in uh, this direction. So when we're looking at uh, the days after halving, usually after 160, 180 days, we can see you know, the market going up. Now around uh, this 135th day, we see we're still doing this kind of sideway movements. But uh, towards end of September, October could be already something which we can see uh, on the market, you know, uh, going up. So one month this September is also crucial because when looking at back historically, uh, all the way to 2013, we can see that just two years were in green in September, all other years in red when it comes to Bitcoin. So this could be an interesting thing. Well, we're just going under a bridge right now. That's why the darkness and the shade. Okay. So uh, another thing what I wanted to mention is uh, last time I talked about, you know, Paul Durov uh, and his arrest, the founder of Telegram, and people said that this is really bad for free speech. And now what we have, we have in Brazil, uh, they banning uh, X uh, platform, you know, Twitter, uh, so people cannot use it. And those using VPN, they can face uh, some uh, huge uh, uh, penalties. So again, when it's come to freedom of speech, I think it's very, very important and we can see it's not working every country, to be honest with you. This is another reason uh, for me, at least, uh, when it comes to Bitcoin or why I choose uh, Bitcoin. And yeah, when we're looking at the big whales, those whales who are having more than 100 Bitcoin on their um, uh, you know, account, the numbers of them increased and it's in 17 months high, more than 280 uh, of these uh, addresses um, increased with 280 in the last month. So we can see the big guys are still accumulating. Even Mr. 100 was scooping up another 300 Bitcoin recently. So we can see uh, definitely that there is accumulation in the back. BlackRock is just keep buying, buying, buying. We had just two days outflows in IBIT and the rest it was inflow or zero day. But the retail, the retail is obviously now uh, many times uh, selling and we still have this boring period. We have to survive. We have to be patient. But sooner or later, it's going to end. And we could have, theoretically, a nice Q4, definitely. But we're going to see how it works out. So guys, today I'm here. Uh, this is a special uh, video. And then tomorrow and after tomorrow, I will uh, talking from the conference because I will be there, but still bringing the news and showing you a little bit around in the conference. And then after that, I'm back to my uh, office, obviously to the studio and doing the normal videos. So guys, I wish you a great day. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.